Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another wow, wow. moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. We've dedicated a few prior episodes to how paper airplanes fly. But then my lab assistants brought me these photos. The wings on these planes are circular, like rings or hoops. Can these kind of planes actually fly? But to figure that out, let's first re-examine how a real plane flies. There are four forces that act on an airplane. Thrust is the force that moves a plane forward in the air, like when you throw a paper airplane or the engines on a real airplane. Drag is the force opposing thrust. It's the force that slows down a plane, mostly due to friction from the air it is flying through. Lift is the push upward that keeps the plane in the air, and gravity is the force of attraction between the earth and the plane which pulls it down. Putting it all together with a paper airplane, the thrust you provide when you throw it causes the plane to move through the air. As it does so, the air flowing over the wings pushes back against the wing, giving it lift. However, as drag slows down the plane, the thrust disappears. Once there is enough thrust, lift decreases, allowing gravity to take over and pull the plane down to the ground. So that's the key. So long as the wing shape allows it to generate lift and overcome gravity, given the amount of thrust and drag acting on the plane, the wing should allow a plane to fly, no matter the shape. Let's make a model to test. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous, so always have a responsible adult helping you. We're going to make a ring wing glider. For this you'll need paper, a ruler, straws, scissors, pens, and tape. First, using a ruler, measure one inch from both corners of the long side of a sheet of paper. Draw a line connecting the two points. Cut along the line to get an 11 inch long strip of paper. Next, measure one inch from both corners of a shorter side from the same piece of paper. Draw a line connecting the two points. Cut along the line to get a 7.5 inch strip of paper. Roll the long strip into a ring and tape it together. Do the same with the short strip. Tape the two rings to either end of the straw, making sure they line up along the same side of the straw. To fly your glider, hold it with the shorter ring facing forward, then give it a gentle toss. Just like the flat wing planes, the thrust you provide when you throw it causes the plane to move through the air. As it does so, the air flowing over the ring wing gives it lift until drag slows it down to the point that gravity pulls it to the ground. Now that you understand the basics of ring wing glider design, go try to create your own. I made mine by connecting two straws together and putting two rings on each straw. I connected two straws and put one ring on every straw, including the middle. Okay, let's try them out. You know, instead of looking at how well theirs did, go try to create your own. This has been another Oh Wow moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs>